like to call to order the 12th meeting of the 2018-2019 Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are eight present. Uh, the, and uh, Alderperson um, Rosemary Trester is excused. And who else are you? And Marcus Savaglio is also excused. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from our last City Council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Those minutes are before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, the uh, RCS program that was planned for this evening, uh, someone got sick, so we'll be uh, maybe bringing that back at a future time, but there'll be no presentation this evening. Next, we'll move on to public forum. City Clerk. There's no one this evening. Thank you. Um, next item on the agenda are mayor's appointments. City Attorney. Those will lie over. Um, next, we'll move on to mayor's announcements. I just want to let everyone know that the, um, the soup program support our urgent urban projects. They have a meeting on the 20th at Fountain Park. Uh, there'll be several people presenting their ideas for funding and the funds raised at that event then will go to fund that idea that was selected by the community that attended. And the Rivers Days Festival is coming up this weekend on South Pier. And that's going to be on the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Okay, next um, we'll move on to an election. Tonight we'd like to conduct an election for the Board of Water Works Commissioner. Alder Person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the nominations be received from the floor. Voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes to be dropped from the list of and balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Alderperson Wolf. I nominate Mark Smith for the position of Board of, of Waterworks Commissioner. Second. Thank you for that my nomination and support. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderperson Wolf. All in favor say aye. 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 Motions carry. Congratulations, Mark no. Smith. No, no, Todd. You gotta read the other one before. Pardon? To Thanks for doing my work for me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, mo the motion passes. Yes, there you Congratulations, go. Congratulations, <laughs> Mark. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Division of power, eh? Mark's been uh, serving uh, to an expired term during this first uh, stint on the board. Uh, we welcome to another three-year term, and thank you for your service. Okay, next we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2.8. All the person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Those items are before us for discussion. Does anyone have anything to bring up? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll for passage on the consent agenda. Eight eyes. Motion passes. 
Under reports of officers, items 3.1 and 3.2 will lay over. Items 3.3 and 3.4 will be referred to various committees. Moving on to resolutions, items 4.1 and 4.2 will also be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, items 5, item 5.1 is RC number 133 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom was referred RO number 109 of 1819 by the city clerk submitting a communication from Rory Dales asking for the city to consider extending the financial deadlines of the Armory Community Project and recommends to file the document and approve the resolution granting the request. Alderperson Renfleisch. Move and we accept and file and pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderperson Ron Fleisch. We had a, quite a discussion at the Finance Committee meeting about giving the, the Armory Project additional more time. They indicated that well, we considered that they haven't met all the other goals that they had set up in the timeline so far, that they had several foundations who were interested who hadn't met over the summer and they would desire to have the opportunity to meet with those foundations. Um, we were very clear at the that October 23rd would be the final deadline for the whole 2.4 million that they was originally due, plus some other was due in August. For all those reasonable to not stop the project at this point in time suddenly, to at least allow them the time to see if they can get money. Uh, Mrs. Lurkey was there and she indicated to us that if they are told no, by certain foundations, so she'll let us know prior to October 23rd so we can get on. And uh, we was, was pointed out by, by some city administrators that uh, the other alternative for the Armory site developer was still interested, but may not be interested in October 23rd. We decided to go ahead anyways. Thank you very much for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Seven eyes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 134 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom was referred resolution number 89 of 1819 by all the persons were in flesh and born, authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2018 budget for CDBG and recommends approving the resolution. All the person, Ryan Fleisch. I move to we accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any questions or discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is resolution, RC rather, number 135 of 1819 by, uh, by finance personnel to whom was referred resolution number 90 of 1819 by all the persons are in flesh and born adopting certain changes to the city's medical benefit plan and dental benefit effective for calendar year 2019 coverage and establishing the monthly premium equivalent rates effective for January of 19 coverage and thereafter and recommends approving the resolution. Alderperson Rindfleisch. I move we accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Alderperson Rindfleisch. We had a large, a fair number of city employees that were present, uh, present at our finance committee meeting and we had a good discussion on uh, the proposed changes. I think in general these are recommended by our insurance advisory people. Um, and while nobody is ex happy that we kind of reached consensus, this was the best move to go. Okay, thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll.
Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.4 is RC number 136 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 91 of 1819 by all the persons Rin Fleisch and Boren, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2018 budget, fire suppression tools, and recommends approving the resolution. All the persons Rin Fleisch. I move we accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.5 .5 is RC number 137 of 1819 by the Public Works Committee, to whom is referred resolution 92 of 1819 by Alderperson Wolf, authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a five year agreement for the provision of professional management services and operation of the Harbor Center Marina and recommends approving the resolution and the attached contract. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.6 is RC number 138 of 1819 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 93 of 1819 by Alderperson Wolf, extending the special charge for residential garbage and refuse disposal services provided by the city and recommends approving the resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> when I was looking over the document uh, yesterday and preparing for this meeting tonight and knowing some of the history of, of the garbage fee, uh, first of all, I'm going to support the extension of the fee. Uh, and uh, But uh, the history up to this point is that the council has taken a look at this fee, I believe, every two years since its inception back in, in 2013 or 14 or whenever it was. And I think it would be a good idea for the council before 2020, the end of uh, 2020, to take another look at the fee and see whether we want to continue with it. My, my thinking on that is, is if there's a new governor or if we have the same governor, we have a different state legislature, our ability to levy taxes may change from basically the freeze we've had for a number of years. And in two years, if that does change, the council at that time may consider putting this on the tax levy rather than a fee. Years ago when we started this, uh, I know I heard from a number of constituents, I would rather have this on the tax levy than as a fee because if I itemize on my, on my income tax, I can deduct that additional amount of my property taxes, but I can't deduct it as a fee. I talked to attorney Adams this morning and I asked him about one of the whereases on the document that appeared a little vague to me about that we had to uh, review it now before the end of 2018 for it to go into effect for a couple more years. And he also agreed that the document from back in 216 wasn't real clear. So I moved to amend resolution number 93, 18, 19 so as to add a paragraph to be placed between the paragraphs that begin now therefore it be resolved and be it further resolved to read as follows. Be it further resolved that the common council shall review the special charge every two years with the first review to take place no later than December 31st, 2020. <laughs> Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderperson Donahue. Uh, 
Um, I too, uh, along with Alder Born, was uh, present uh, when um, uh, this fee was discussed and discussed and discussed again, and then every time it came up, it was discussed and discussed again. Um, while I understand the uh, reasoning behind Alder Borden's amendment, um, I think that this charge um, has become part of our uh, government structure, and I don't see the point, uh, particularly considering it is such a small fee um, uh, in the overall scheme of things, um, that it really is worth our while to bring it up every two years and to discuss it every two years. Um, unless, of course, we want to increase that fee. Um, so I'm going to vote against it uh, because I think we should finally just put this to rest. Um, but understanding what Alder Bourne, uh, his, his point, um, uh, there may in fact be various changes. Um, we know that the current legislature has, has actually passed, I, I just read, 180 bills limiting local control. Uh, and, uh, and that may change in the future, but I think this is embedded in our government structure right now, and we're probably just best to leave it there and not, uh, uh, you know, poke at that nest one more time. You know, I got a little queasy when I saw this on the agenda. I thought, no, no, not again, not again. And so I, I, I would just soon get it taken care of. Thank you for those comments. Um, all the person born, you mentioned the history, and I actually think this goes back further than, than what you mentioned in 2013 because it started out as a $7 fee somewhere around 29 or 2010, and the council did reduce it down to the $5 fee that uh, is currently charged. All the person born? And then it was, uh, then it was the last council that voted on this then a couple of years ago decided that they wanted to sunset it, in other words, bring it to a complete end. And I don't agree with that. I think it should continue, but I, I don't think there's any, any harm in having future councils look at it for the reason that Alderperson Donahue mentioned, to increase it, or if, if for the reasons I mentioned before, we may want to either eliminate it or reduce it, depending on what we're able to do with what our state legislature let, lets us do. So. I just don't think there's uh, harm in either going to the Public Works Committee where it came out of or else finance and personnel uh, to just review it every couple of years. And if it still has merit, then fine, let's continue it. And, I, and as I said, I'm going to support extending it, but I don't know if I want to you know, give it carte blanche to continue on forever. Uh, I think it's reasonable to take a look at it every couple of years. Thank you. Uh, Alder Person Born, you just mentioned that having the Public Works Committee or Finance and Personnel review it, but the, I believe the document says that the council has to review it. Wh which is the case? Uh, you had some drafters' notes, uh, Attorney Adams. Do you think it would be appropriate to go over uh, those before we vote on this? I can. So um, Alderman Born did ask me to uh, put something uh, together, and I suggested that uh, uh, because sometimes when things are done from the floor, uh, they can be a little bit confusing as they were the last couple of years, uh, that, some, that we have something in writing ahead of time. Uh, Alder uh, Bourne's uh, proposal, I, I think he has identified that there is a difference between a sunset clause and a review clause, and this is a review clause. Um, it does say that the Common Council would review it. The process for the Common Council to review it would likely to be uh, to send it to a committee. Um, that could happen in a number of different ways. Uh, there could be a new resolution extending the special charge, as was done in 16, uh, as is being done now. Uh, it could be a resolution authorizing a brand new special charge uh, in, a, in a different way. It could be a resolution that amends it or terminates it or extends it, um, uh, does various things with the biennial review. Or it could simply be a simple report of committee accepted by the Common Council and then filed that that committee has uh, reviewed it and recommends no change. Uh, as to uh, uh, the issue of, um, you know, this is a resolution. Uh, so even if you do not pass Alder Boren's uh, uh, amendment, 
It doesn't take away your right to review it at some future date. It just takes off of a schedule. And in essence, that um, that is what this motion is doing, is putting it on a schedule requiring you to do it in two years and every two years, uh, rather than just allowing you to do it whenever you feel like. All the person, Donahue. Um, Attorney Adams, is it, I just may have this mixed up. It seems my memory is that while there are levy limits, there was the opportunity for municipalities to impose a fee, which would not reduce the, which would not reduce our, our ability to levy at a certain percentage, but that after, I think it was one of those 180 bills, they took that ability away. Um, so in other words, if we reduce this, if we either reduce or eliminate this fee, it's gone forever? Yes, under current law, uh, if you reduce or eliminate this, you cannot bring it back. And I don't know if that would change, you know, if, if wishes were horses kind of thing, you know, and scenario that you laid out would actually come to fruition, you know, things might change, but I, I just say we leave well enough alone. Thank you. Alderperson Sorensen. Um, I, I think just to clarify, too, um, in some of the discussion about the reviewing of the fee uh, to increase or lower it, um, I don't know who's going to answer this question, but I believe in one of those 180 restrictions, um, we're not allowed to increase the fee. We're, we're able to essentially just continue it or lower it or get rid of it. We're not allowed to increase it. Is that? That is correct under current law. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just for reference to, uh, could the director of public works just give a, a good idea about the, the, the total number that this fee generates um, for the garbage service? Alderperson Boren. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if we would in decide to increase the fee, the penalty would be we would have to reduce our tax levy by a like amount. So in other words, if we're getting uh, $800,000 an hour and we wanted to raise it back up to seven bucks, uh, that additional revenue would have to be reduced, our, our levy would have to be reduced by the same amount and that was one of the, another one of the, you know, the brilliant law that Alderman Sorensen uh, just mentioned. Precisely. Okay, any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <coughs> this is the motion to amend the wording. Four eyes, four nose. <laughs> Amir votes nay. So now we're back to the original motion. Is there any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Guys. Motion passes. Uh, items 5.7, 8, and 9 will be referred to various committees. Under general ordinances, ordinance 6.1 and 6.2 will also be referred to various committees. Under matters laid over, Item 7.1 is resolution number 88 of 1819 by all the persons Donahue and Wolf officially recognizing the historic Grant, Grant Neighborhood Association. All the person Donahue. I move that the resolution be passed. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Very good. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Well, this is our eighth neighborhood association, so we keep on growing these groups. It's good to see. I, next item is other matters received after the agenda was published. Turn it over to the city attorney. Thank you. 8.1 is a resolution by all the persons. Uh, uh, oh, it's in a different order here. 8.1 is a resolution by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2018. June 30, 2019, and June 30, 2020. That'll be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety committee. And 8.2 is a resolution by all the persons, Rin Fleisch and Boren, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2018 budget. That'll be referred to the finance and personnel committee. Alder Person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that uh, motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. Wow.